Hi, I'm Sarah O'Neill and welcome back to my series Bridal Bootcamp on My Wedding Scrapbook. Today we're going to be working the chest and the back, which is really important if you're wearing a strapless or backless wedding dress and also for your honeymoon bikini. So again, we have 10 exercises and I'd like you to work for 45 to 60 seconds per exercise. So set the timer on your phone and let's go. So let's start with press-ups. Most of you will probably be in three-quarter press-up position. So hands just wider than mat, and you're gonna slowly lower your chest down to the mat, then squeeze your elbows as you return back to start position. Make sure that there's a straight line from your shoulders to your knees, and that your bum's not sticking up in the air. To really target the chest, think about squeezing these elbows in, pressing through heel of hand, and obviously holding your tummy muscles in tight. We're alternating between chest and back moves for active recovery. So next we're going to work the lower back in dorsal raises. Have your hands either at the small of your back or up to your temples. And we're just going to lift and lower, peeling your chest and shoulders off the mat. Keep your chin off your chest, but keep your eyes down in order to keep the neck in line. We're back to the chest in press-up rotations. So lower the chest down to the mat, then lift up into side plank. Bring your hand to the middle of the mat and then rotate. The next exercise is to turn the top of the back. So we're going to take the elbows to 90 degrees, lift the chest up, squeeze the elbows in, return to 90 degrees and lower down, keeping your chin tucked under and your eyes forward of the mat. You can increase the work by lifting your legs as well. Chest and abs in this move. So lie back, lift your knees above your hips. Take your hand weights above your mid-chest and we're going to open them wide and then squeeze back to the centre. So your arms are almost completely straight, just a small bend in the elbow as you come all the way down to the floor. Stretch the leg and get the heel as low as you can, or if you're feeling strong, take a double leg extension, or you can do a mixture of the two. Dorsal double arm and leg extensions, lying flat on your front, hands shoulder width, legs hip width, you're going to lift double arm and double leg and then lower down. Eyes just looking forward as you lift up and then down as you lower down. If it's too much, just go with single arm and diagonally opposite leg. Back to the press-ups, bringing in a bit of instability. So walking the press-ups, hand to hand, chest between hands, then shift the weight and turn the body, really bringing your chest down all the way to the floor. Again, if you want to, you can do this up on your toes. Great for targeting the top of your back in that strapless dress. 90 degrees, you're gonna lift and then rotate, drawing your elbow back slightly, return to middle and lower down. Changing side each time and trying to smoothly move the head with you. Right, let's get deep into those chest muscles with some pulses to finish you off. Really drop your chest low, squeeze your elbows in, pulse and press through the heel of your hand. See if you can keep this going for the full 60 seconds and finish with 10 pulses at the bottom half. Let's finish with a plank for the back, the prone cobra. So lift your chest, draw your arms back, make an L shape with your hands and squeeze your thumbs in towards your mid back. Keep lifting your chest and shoulders, squeeze your bottom, feet the hip width and just hold. If you're feeling really strong, you can take a high cobra V hold. Keep your shoulders relaxed and keep that chest lifted. Eyes just forward. That's it for this week. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. I'll be back next week talking about healthy hydration in the run up to your wedding day. See you then.